Hello everyone, I'm Neloth, and in this video I'm going to attempt to show you how to create a good looking Dunmer, or Dark Elf, in Skyrim that doesn't look like a shriveled up walking corpse that only a necromancer would diddle. In this next clip, I will basically be showing you all the sliders you should select to make a good template for you to customize on your own later. After the template stuff, I'll go into further customization and give tips on how to make your Dunmer look even better and avoid those wrinkles around the eyes that a lot of people take notice of. Anyways, uh, bye bye. I'm gonna hand this off to future Neloth now. So first, if we're going to be making a handsome looking male Dunmer, we're obviously going to go with a, uh, a Dark Elf for obvious reasons. Uh, so for body, male, you're going to want that to be on the uh, left side. Preset, we went with the default preset. Skin tone, you're going to want that all the way to the right. And weight, you're going to want it somewhere around the W. Uh, you don't want to make them too thick because then it'll just kind of look like a uh, pin cone. Uh, cone whatever because his head's gonna be way smaller and his body's gonna be a bit too big so you're always gonna want that to be around like the W area. Now for head you're going to want to have him have a complexion all the way to the left. You can obviously add stuff if you want to give him a more rustic look uh, but we can save that for later so you're gonna want all these things all the way to the left. So for face if we go all the way up you're going to want the nose uh, one to the left of the N in nose type. Uh, nose height, you're going to want that all the way to the left. Uh, nose length, you're going to want that um, right next to the N and the G. Uh, jaw width, you're going to want that next to the W and the I in width. Jaw height, you're going to want that directly under the E in height. Jaw forward, you're going to want that directly under the O in jaw forward. Cheekbone height, you're going to want to have that all the way to the right. Cheekbone width, you're going to want that right between the N and the E. And for the rest of this stuff, we're going to want to have it all the way to the left. It's not really necessary. This is more better for someone that you just want to have, like, or have a bunch of black smudge on their face. Or women usually uh, have it better for this stuff, but men, not really. So for the eye shape, you're going to want uh, one to the left on the far right in eye shape. Eye color, I don't really like any of the other eye colors for the Dunmer, um, aside from maybe the all white one, because that kind of gives a more mystical vibe. But aside from that, I usually prefer the, uh, the first one to the right um, on the left side in eye color, because it's all bright red, and I just feel like that is the best. Eye height, you're going to want that right underneath the H, but on the right side of the H in height. Eye depth, you're going to want that right under the Y. Uh, let me just check real quick. Yeah, I think uh, definitely you're going to want that under the Y. Uh, so for eye depth, same thing as eye width, you're going to want that right underneath the Y. Eyeliner color, you're going to want that... Yeah, you're going to want that uh, one next to the E and the L. Uh, after that eyeshadow, you're going to want it all the way to the right. And eye tint, you're going to want that all the way to the left. So for brow type, we're going to want um, pretty much any brow would work in my opinion, depending on what character you want. Personally, I prefer the uh, eyebrow between the R and the O, but I think uh, for this guy, uh, the one under the W is the most handsome looking. Brow height, you're going to want that all the way to the left, so it's close to the eyes as humanly possible. Uh, brow width, you're going to want that underneath the W in brow. And brow forward, you're going to want that underneath the A in forward. So for mouth, which is honestly probably the most like important part of every character that a lot of people don't realize, uh, mouth shape, I prefer the uh, one to the left of the M in mouth. Mouth height, you're going to want that all the way to the left. Mouth forward, you're going to want that in between the R and the D. Chin width, you're going to want that between the D and the T in width. Chin length, you're going to want that directly underneath the E. Apologies for my Xbox going off for some reason. Uh, you're going to want chin forward right between the R and the W, but more on under the W. And lip color, you're going to want that all the way to the left. 
Now for hair, as you can see, my guy looks pretty bald because usually whenever I create characters, I try to have them be as bald as humanly possible and clean shaven so I can actually really focus on their facial features because honestly, I am a I have a genuine belief that you can make an ugly character look nice by just having a thick beard and some nice hair. So usually when it comes to uh, elves, I prefer to give them the more elven haircut because I just think it, you know, looks better and makes them less Nord-like than, say, you know, the, uh, the Rayloff hair here. Um, so yeah, any hair would work. I think this one looks really cool on this character, so we'll go for it. Although it's not elven hair, but I like it. And obviously, as I said before, um, beards just look fantastic on Dunmer especially. They usually look pretty weird without it. I think uh, I think the goatee looks really nice on this dude. Um, however, we'll just go with uh, yeah, I think we'll just go for a goatee with this guy. Although there are several different combinations that you can use. Uh, we're gonna go back to bald because I have some tips uh, that are basically all the way at the left side. Because as you can tell, the main problem with the Dunmer is the fact that their face is very wrinkly. Now, fun fact. Whether you're creating a character at Helgen or using the Choose Another Life mod where you start in this dungeon, usually the wrinkles are going to be very highlighted. So if you're just playing the game normal and you're in a tavern, dungeon, whatever, you're actually not going to be seeing many of the wrinkles on both the male and the female Dunmers. However, you just see it really especially here. However, if you want to like hide the wrinkles as much as possible, there is a very way, very easy way to fix that, and that is with war paint. Usually with war paint, um, it kind of highlights uh, the character more than their facial appearances. So, for example, if we choose like this one, which I would recommend for a more stealthy assassin-like character, you see more around their eyes in the black, and you don't really look at much of the wrinkles. So, if you want to go for a Dunmer that is more stealthy assassin-like, I think this war paint would actually look absolutely spectacular and would if you want to go a vampire route it would definitely highlight the vampiric eyes which i think would just look absolutely sick however if you want to go for a more like mage character the dunmer war paint specific and if you go for uh usually i like red um this guy i don't think actually looks good with it uh but um yeah yellow as you can see with this again the yellow war paint kind of it doesn't hide the wrinkles completely, but it basically makes the eye glance more at the war paint than the wrinkles on the Dunmer. So it just kind of hides the wrinkles more, which I think is very useful, especially when making a Dunmer. And so we'll just go with, um, I think I'm gonna go with the Dunmer hair. Uh, I think that looks good. And we'll just go with a full beard. And yeah, as you can see, that's a pretty standard Dunmer right there. And as I said before, there's a lot of different combinations that you can go with, um, especially when you go all the way to um, skin tone especially. Uh, you can always make them very pale if you want. That could work. Uh, but however, for the Dunmer, I don't really like them having this pale physique. It makes them look too much like a Falmer. So I usually always uh, put them all the way to the right or right here where it's a bit gray, but I usually like it all the way to the right because it makes them feel like that they just survived the eruption of Red Mountain. And that's all there is to the Dunmer customization to make sure he doesn't look like some 90 year old virgin that got caved in with a sledgehammer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the like button, like the subscribe button, and like the bell notification down below. And I will see you whenever the fuck I decide to upload again. House Telvani be with you. Please, O oh hero of Skyrim. I shall be ever so grateful.